Fortnite Chapter 4 is here bringing Unreal Engine 5.1. What does this mean? It means a whole new form of ray tracing lighting and also upscaling mechanisms called temporal lighting and temporal super resolution. So this is only active in DirectX 12 mode. So can you tell the difference between these two? One is DirectX 11 and one is DirectX 12. I'll give you a couple of seconds, but if you hadn't guessed, then DirectX 11, which is the original, is on the left and DirectX 12 is on the right here. So you can really see those lighting effects in play and some of that super resolution scaling as well. Just look at the character model here. Look at the lighting on the body and the contours and also the quality of the walls as well. It just looks so much better on the DirectX 12 version. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a performance hit as we'll see in just a second. So let's go back to DirectX 11 full screen and you can see as we're moving around, we don't get any blurriness. We do hold that 120 frames per second quite solidly, but things don't look quite as good as they did on the DirectX 12 side. And we'll come full screen on that in just a second so you can see that in conjunction. But DirectX 11 does perform exceptionally well still. This was on the high settings with the super resolution at quality mode. So now if we switch over to DirectX 12, we do see those frames per second dip a little bit, but just look how good everything looks. This was running on medium preset with temporal super resolution on quality as well, but I had to drop it down to medium overall settings so we could keep that frames per second up towards the 120 mark. It does still dip down in certain situations, but the quality difference here for a few frames being lost was just a huge benefit. Look at the overall picture here of the world, the trees, just the level of detail in absolutely everything. It seems subtle, but it really does make a huge difference. Unfortunately, this isn't enabled by default and it doesn't seem to remember it between reboots, but if you want to turn DirectX 12 on in Fortnite on GeForce Now right now, what you need to do is come into the settings, switch over to DirectX 12 mode and hit apply. This will tell you that it will need a reboot. Now, the first time you do this reboot, it will ask you to re-log into Epic Games. Now, you will have to re-log in, otherwise it will not enable DirectX 12. But after I've done that, every subsequent game restart, where it does start back up in DirectX 11, as you'll see here, once I hit that restart, it doesn't ask me to log in again. It just restarts for me. So it must remember it after that first time. So it does seem to only happen the first time. After that, it does restart properly. But Unfortunately, as I said, when you close down your session and start it back up again, it will be back in DirectX 11, no matter how many times you try to change that. And even on the RTX 3080 tier, with that remembered in the client settings, it doesn't seem to stick. So I have informed GeForce now about this and hopefully it will get resolved as DirectX 12 does look absolutely phenomenal. So there you have it, that's how to run DirectX 12 mode and let us know in the comments below what you think of the quality difference and whether you're going to be running DirectX 12 from now on. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here of my drop in on DirectX 12 so you can get a better feel for the game and performance and a bit of gunplay as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.